Well, Sunday, when I woke up to the news that Kabul had fallen to the Taliban, um, it was it was devastating. It was emotional. I spent uh, more than a decade, uh, set many years living there, and then uh, many years traveling to and from. Uh, more than a decade, four, 13, 14 years. And uh, I trained hundreds of journalists in Afghanistan, especially a lot of them were women, a lot of female journalists um, on a lot of sensitive issues. First thing that ran through my mind is all of my friends uh, and former colleagues um, who are in Kabul and what they're going through. Weeks before that, this had happened days before, and then weeks before it had happened in other cities. So I was already in touch with uh, friends and, and colleagues and reporters. And so each as each city fell and was taken over, I would hear from people. So finally, when in on Sunday, Kabul was taken over and the government was taken over, that was a blow. That was devastating. All all hope was lost at that point. What's at stake first and foremost are the lives of millions of Afghans um, there. They are humans, they are vulnerable. Uh, we have a tendency in the West to, um, to make people in other places um, seem disposable, uh, and they're not. And they are first and foremost humans in this world who have gone through so much. Then a second layer are that what's at stake here are all the rights that Afghan women and girls have fought for for the last 20 years. A lot of women's lives changed in the last 20 years for the better, and they risk losing all of those benefits and those what they've gained. And then additionally, it's all of the uh, all of the U.S. troops that have lost lives, who have given their service, uh, all of their efforts. Uh, will go to waste um, if we can't continue the support and the progress. There's so much people can do. The general public, please call. We ask that they everybody calls their local and state elected officials. Ask for every all resources to be put into processing visas for Afghans. Push your local elected leaders for what we call a humanitarian corridor in Afghanistan. That means people who want to leave should be able to leave. And that means flights in and out of Kabul airport, security at Kabul airport, evacuation uh, instructions, and cooperating with uh, local officials to allow people to safely get through the airport. This is just the, the first step. These are what we're asking right now.